Hey guys, I'm Jack, you're watching Yak TV. I'm here with Pluto Jones, who's just finished a huge set at the Bar on the Hill. Pluto, I'll let you put your beer down. That is all good. Well earned. Um, first time playing at the Bar on the Hill, how was it? Uh, it was it was fun, the sound was great, and yeah, there's a good vibe in the room. Um, yeah, it was pretty sweet. I was wondering before, how did the name Pluto Jones come about? Just a random thing, or? You know, parents were drunk. Parents were drunk. That's all right, I guess it's working out for you now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, there was, there was yeah. Happy ending to that story. Happy ending. We're here now, um, and your last album came out in 2013, and I've heard you're riding your socks off, apparently, for the yeah. new record. <laughs> really They're still on, them. so when do we expect to hear some <laughs> new material? Within a month, actually, yeah. Awesome. New album coming out, or? Yeah, there's a release in the works. Um, you'll be hearing some new stuff off it, as I said, within a month. Um, what it ends up being is still... Uh, in the works yes, at the moment. Yeah, still up in the air. I was reading a few things and it said that Beck was one of your favourite influences and stuff and I sort of heard a bit of that. There's a whole heap of crazy sounds happening on stage. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love the theremin by the way, that was awesome. Oh, cool. Music needs a lot more of that. Um, who else are your biggest influences? Um, uh, uh, well, probably the Beatles are probably my biggest influence, uh, I'd say, growing up. But in the new stuff, um, I'd, I think there's a bit of David Byrne, Talking Heads, um, and the stuff we're about to release. I don't know, it's it's pretty eclectic. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, anytime anyone... Microsoft Sam in there as well? Or? Microsoft Sam. It's Alex, actually. Alex is a <laughs> different program. Or? Oh, yeah, it's the, it's the Mac competitor. And um, we saw that you guys played with Blue Juice a whole heap last year. Um, any crazy tour stories with those guys? We know those dudes like to party. <laughs> they do. Any ones you can tell to camera is probably more appropriate to ask, I guess. But the most recent time was at the at the casino in Sydney at the Star. Yeah. Which yep. is kind of cool but weird. <laughs> a um, bit different. Yeah, a bit different. I didn't realise they did gigs there until um, I played with them. But it's funny because as a band, when you come up with your rider, yeah, I didn't know this till I started, but you basically make it four times more extravagant than <laughs> what you actually want because yeah. you know that people are never going to go the whole hog yeah um and you know so here i was asking for a you know sandwich platter <laughs> and they've got <coughs> and of course because it's the star they they go they actually get, yeah. they actually did the whole thing yeah. so we had like four different types of figs and they were sharing them with band. stuff i'd never even heard of stuff they'd never even heard. they didn't even know what what some of the <laughs> degustation on there was. I was like, how did you ask us? Just put it out there and they delivered. They delivered big time. So yeah, any young bands that are out there, play at the casino. They look after you. Ask for everything you can. <laughs> all right, man, that's all. Thanks heaps for that. Hope you have a safe trip home and um, all the best for the future. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks for having me. I'm Jack. And I'm Pluto Jones. And you're watching Yak, Yak TV. TV.